Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of our unboxing and review video. I apologize for the long delay in releasing a new video, but here we are with another interesting unboxing. Today, we will be unveiling the infamous diver-inspired analog watch, the blue-dialed Casio MRW200H2B. Let's proceed with the unboxing. This time, the Casio watch comes nestled in a hard cardboard box, ensuring it's well-protected. Let's remove the watch from this sturdy packaging. It seems the Casio box is further protected by layers of plastic wrapping. Here it is, the ordinary Casio box. No complaints here, as the watch only costs about 18 US dollars, including shipping. Let's reveal the watch now. There you have it, the blue-dialed Casio MRW200, well-protected inside its box. Let's take it out, wow! But first, let's check the documentation. Usually, it is placed at the bottom of the box. First, we have the warranty certificate. Followed by the multi-language instruction manual. Now, let's focus on the watch. The watch is further wrapped in plastic. Let's remove it. Let me just take off this screen protector sticker. There it is, the blue dial beauty. Let's have a closer look at the watch. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. As they Next, let's remove the watch tag to reveal the full model number. Okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better. MRW 200 h 2 b 2 vdf For the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were. Let's talk about the watch dimensions. The case size is about 44.6 millimeters. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. The lug to lug distance is about 47.9 millimeters. The thickness is about 11.6 millimeters. The lug size is about 18 millimeters. The weight is about 39 grams. Now let's discuss the dial. The MRW 200 has a distinctive numbered bezel with an inverted triangle on top. The numbers range from 0, 05 to 55 in increments of 5 minutes. It features large white Arabic style hour markers. And inside there is another set of numbers from 13 to 24. As they were a year ago, we'll all be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago.
Let's move the hands to get a clearer view of the dial. Just below the 12 o'clock mark is the Casio logo and quartz imprint. Below that is the water resist 10 bar imprint. At the 3 o'clock position, there is a day and date window with a white edge or border. The tough resin bezel can be rotated, but it doesn't click. It's there purely for design. The case seems durable overall. The medium-sized crown is protected but not a screw-down type. The second hand is particularly interesting with an arrowhead design, while the hour hand resembles the Seiko SKX design, and the minute hand is sword-like. Setting the time and date on this watch is similar to other Casio analog watches. The first click sets the day and date, and the second click sets the time. The back case is stainless steel with imprints of the Casio logo, module and model numbers, water resistance rating, 10 bar, and Japan movement. For screws secure the back case to the main case. The band is a standard Casio resin band tough and dependable, nothing special. Let's try this rather large 44.6 millimeters case on my slim 6.5 inch wrist. It is a bit large, isn't it? But I like the watch even though it's rather large on my wrist. Those with wrists larger than 6.5 inches will find this watch fits nicely. Finally, the luminescence is sadly only on the hour, minute, and second hands. But for an $18 watch, who cares? So that's the end of this video guys, thanks for watching and catch you again in the next video. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Bye for now.